from uh, NES Motorsports. Nice uh, faux LTW carbon lip from the almighty eBay. Um, you can see down there, got a nice set trap oil cooler uh, running up. The engine, um, so this car's had a couple engines. Uh, it started life with a just a S52, then I threw a supercharger on it. That was dumb. Blew that motor up, got another motor. That motor had problems and blew up, so then at that point I built a motor. So what we see here, we've got a S52. It is got built bottom end, 11 half to one compression, um, all upgraded bearings, everything, baffled oil pan. It's got a Shrick 276, 270 cams in it, Supertech valve springs, Supertech valves, very mild port. Um, this was the first car that I did, and actually this is probably, I believe we confirmed, this was the first running... Uh, rapid racing development ITB swapped car. So S54 fuel injectors, ITBs, airbox, 3.5 MAF, super sweet gold wrapped uh, dine and intake. Fits really nicely. Um, cast performance, the dudes that tuned it. Um, this motor makes, or at least it made on a dyno last year, uh, 321 on a Mustang dyno, 321 horse. 269 torque to the wheels, 7,500 RPM rev limit. Um, future plans, at some point maybe, solid lifters so I can get some more RPMs out of it. Other than that, though, I, this car has been broken so much in its life It's that I just want to drive it. Just really, really enjoy to drive it. Uh, you can see here, like the other car, Bimber World Power Stern Reservoir Relocate. Engine bay is okay. It really needs a fresh coat of paint. This this chassis had a hard life. Um, when I bought it, I bought it from a buddy that bought the car purely for the built turbocharged engine in it. So it's got brackets missing. It's got some dense dings. It's just it's it's okay. One day I'd love to pull the motor out of this thing and have it properly fixed, but we'll we'll get there. Um, you can see on top here beautiful mason engineering strut bar this is the one that's legit designed to clear an s54 swap d36 which is badass force lag camera plates connected to ast 5100 coilovers um s54 oil filter housing go into the cooler and then we got these beauties i just got these last year work s1s um in my opinion these and te's some of the prettiest wheels that you can put on E36 that are just different. Um, you can see here, I actually just did this, 996 big brakes. So E46 M3 rotors, 996 calipers, did a rough paint job on them and threw some Brembo stickers. Uh, Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires. These are the road wheels. So I, I have track wheels that I put on these um, with a stickier rubber and a more squared setup. This is a seven, this is actually stock E36 fitment, seven and a half front, Eight and a half rear. So, got that going. Um, interior has completely been changed. This was originally a Dove Gray car, as all 95 E36 M3s were, pretty much. Um, it's now got dyed black carpet, black dash. Just put in these uh, Corbu seats. I rewrapped the center armrest. And then the rest of the car is Modena out of a 97 Lux car. Really like the look. Looks different. Um... Really happy with it. Uh, I have got my um, Cooler Works short shifter. Love that thing. Um, with a nice little shifter cover plate from ST Parts over in Europe. Momo steering wheel with quick release. Um, that's about it for the interior stuff. And then come around back. The Works. Uh, MK Motorsport rear diffuser. Needs a bit of work. Got a bit dinged up from a um, having to get towed last year after a breakdown. But and then uh, LTW wing, Masha LTW. So quick. That's just kind of quick overview. Um, I'm gonna try to do some more stuff again. I'm I'm still figuring out this whole YouTube thing and what I want to do with it and uh, whatever. Big thing I'm doing right now with this is just did an oil change. Um, basically changing all the fluids and doing a bolt check. The big thing I learned last year, uh, high compression, 
everything shakes loose. I think every single bolt on this engine at some point last year that had been torqued to spec came loose. Um, oh, and then also I added on, you can't, uh, you can't see it down there. Aux ball fan. Um, I had to upgrade the dampener. Um, I'm going to maybe see if I have any pictures or anything I can overlay into this video. Um, it is, or maybe I can get it from underneath. Let's see here. Oh, you can just see the bottom of it. ATI Super Dampener, custom done by JD, GDM Engineering. Turner Motorsport Sway Bar, AN lines for the power steering system. It is a Z3 steering rack in the front here. I uh, love the ratio on it. Um, I do retain, so a couple things. This still has AC. This is a street car. So, and I still got the secondary fan. So I've still got all those things. Chase Bay's uh, washer fluid tank, spare fluid. Love that. Um, but yeah, you know, for the for the 12 people that are subscribed to my channel, love you guys all. Comment below. What do you want to see? What do you want to see me do? Um, again, this thing is, I'm not changing a whole lot. Though I do am contemplating putting that carbon delete panel here. I have a lot of E36 stuff. So with that, like I said, comment below. What do people want to see? Um, again, the black car is going to get back in here to finish things up. This car is still going to be in here to do some things. Um, but hopefully, too, uh, there might be a Fox Body Mustang in the future. Uh, and there might be some other people's cars. Just let me know what you guys want. Um, but follow me on Instagram, 11 Tents Racing. Very simple across the board. Um, and we will see you guys next time.